Hello everyone, how's it going? My name is Elias, and in today's video, it's been a hot minute, I'm gonna take you guys with me to the bookstore. So if you guys weren't aware, I am in a completely different location. In fact, I'm in a completely different state. So I am actually in Seattle, Washington, visiting family, and I'm staying at my aunt's and uncle's house with my cousins. I decided to, why not take the opportunity and take you guys with me to the local used bookstores around here. I think the last bookstore excursion we went to was with Noelle back in San Francisco. So it's been quite a while since I've hit up any of the goods. So we're gonna go to a specific used bookstore in downtown Seattle called the Elliott's Book Bay Company Bookstore. So I've heard a lot of good things about this independent bookstore. They have a pretty good used selection. And so we're just gonna go ahead and check that out. I know that besides that bookstore, there are a couple of used bookstores around near where I am at. But before we get further into the video, a message from today's video sponsor by Future Elias. Thank you to Book of the Month for sponsoring today's video. Book of the Month is a super popular and fast growing online book service for readers whose mission is to promote new and emerging authors and help readers discover the books they love. So I love Book of the Month. I've been working with them for quite some time now. And truly, one of the best things about Book of the Month is that they're risk-free, meaning if you're not vibing with that month's selection of books or their titles, you can skip that month risk-free and you won't be charged. And on top of that, they have the best prices for newly released hardcover fiction that you won't find anywhere else. I have a special code that you guys can use to get your first book for only $9.99. So if you're looking to save a little money this summer, you guys can use my code Elias to get your first book for only $9.99. Tell me where you can get a newly released hardcover fiction book for only $9.99. I'll wait. So with that being said, let's take a look at their July selections. First up, we have a historical fiction, Sister in Arms, Two Women Who Risk Their Lives to Serve with Honor Against Incredible Odds. Next up, we have a thriller, Razorblade Tears. Two dads with a very particular set of skills attempt to solve the mystery of their son's gruesome deaths. Next up, we have The People We Keep, a coming-of-age story about hitting the open road and finding yourself along the way, like the perfect summer mixtape. Next up, we have another thriller, 56 Days. This one follows a newly formed couple who decide to quarantine together during the COVID-19 lockdown, only for one of them to end up dead. Last but not least, we have a contemporary fiction, We Are the Brennans, a big-hearted story of an Irish-American family torn apart by family secrets. All right, so those are all the picks for the month of July. Again, you can use my code Elias to get your first book for only $9.99, and thank you again to Book of the Month for sponsoring today's video. Also, I wanted to take you guys with me on a little excursion to the thrift store as well because the thrifting culture here is is pretty big. So I went thrifting yesterday and I'll insert some clips here and it was a really, really fun, cool experience. I've never done this before because we went to a Goodwill outlet where essentially things are cheaper than the things you would see at a Goodwill store. Everything is packed in bins. You just go into these bins and just pick up random things from clothes, shoes, tools, accessories, etc. So I went with my sister, put on a pair of gloves, and we just dive straight into it. I was not expecting much. I was like, I'm not gonna get anything. They charge things here by the pound, so it is insanely cheaper than finding things at your local used thrift store, for an example. I bought $26 worth of clothes, and that might not sound much, but listen, I filled the entire cart worth of clothes. Entire cart, and it was only $26. It was insane, and there was just some really good picks the shirt being one of them. So if you're ever in the Everett area, just search up on Yelp, Goodwill Outlet, and highly recommend. With that being said, um, I'm gonna head over to my aunt's house and eat some lunch before I head over to the city. So, and with that being said, let us go straight into our adventure. Baby girl, tell me something I don't already know. Baby girl, tell me something Baby 
Hello everyone, so I just arrived here at the bookstore and holding my camera at this angle so people don't know that I'm vlogging because, you know, social anxiety. So I don't have a specific book, or any type of book for that matter, that I'm specifically looking for. So I'm pretty much just going to take you guys in with me and browse what's inside. Alright. I don't think I'll ever fall in love with you, baby. I don't think I'll ever fall in love with you. But we're going through the same shit, just a different person. You keep me above the surface. It's hard, but I keep on learning from you. I hate feeling so uncertain. She left and I keep on searching. But I can tell there's someone hurting you too Lay me down, lay me down slowly Careful I'm falling apart Maybe just stay here Stay here through the night Lay me down, lay me down slowly Careful I'm falling apart Maybe just stay She got someone new It's hard to deal when someone else is loving her by you And when you hold me this way It just don't feel the same I'm telling you it's better if we don't get attached And when we're better we we'll know it's time to move on to the next Mama said when I was younger couldn't be alone I still can't be alone Hello everyone, should I take off my mask so people can't really tell that I'm filming? Wow, okay, so that bookstore was actually so fucking amazing because I think it's probably the biggest independent bookstore I've ever been to. There were so many options to choose from. All the genres that they had, it was super plentiful. Especially their science fiction and horror selection, there was actually a lot of books. There weren't a lot of used books as I thought they would be, but that's okay. And I wasn't sure if I was actually going to get anything because everything is basically like at retail price. But I decided to just, you know, go ahead and support the bookstore. So I've actually been eyeing this book, Never Let Me Go, by Kazuo Ishiguro. Um, it's been on my TBR for quite some time, and I've been eyeing it. I don't own it, 
And so on Amazon, I think it's like $3 less than the actual retail price. So I decided to just go ahead and, you know, why not and purchase it? Which is really interesting, you know, seeing so many young people too, hearing their different patches of conversation saying, it's like, oh, I got this book recommended to me by my mom, or you should read this because my friend got it for me for Christmas and just so on and so forth. It's just so cool and powerful how books can just unite so many people all together. It's just great. So I spent an hour in that bookstore and honestly I could spend the whole day there but parking is a bitch here in Seattle as well. So, but other than that I will head over to the Barnes & Noble closer to where I'm staying and uh, I'll take you guys in there with me. Also there were so many new books, new releases that I wanted to read and just get that I had to control myself because listen, I have already purchased prior before this bookstore 10 books. 10 fucking books. And here comes people. Just be cool. Uh, the joys of filming out in public. Hello. Nice to meet you. Anyways, um, I'm a YouTuber. Can you not tell? So I bought 10 books prior to today's adventure. And most of them are actually used as well. There are a lot of used bookstores near the area that I'm staying in. But for now, adding this one to that one as well. Alright, with that being said, I'll see you guys later. Hello, everyone. Um, just parking right now. And we are directly in front of the Barnes & Noble bookstore. I also forgot to mention that I would highly recommend going to the Elliott's uh, Company Bay Bookstore or the Elliott's Company or the Elliott Bay Company Bookstore because one of the best independent bookstores I've ever been to. Highly recommend. And also, I also want to mention that Washington, Washington hits different when it comes to boys because there were so many cute guys in that bookstore itself and so many of them had tattoos. So the entire time while I was vlogging, I was essentially just staring at their forearms holding books. You know, it's just, it hits different. When you look at a guy with tattoos in a bookstore holding a bunch of books, there's nothing sexier than that. Nothing sexier, let me tell you. It was just a great, glorious sight to see. All right, so with that being said, let's go ahead and go straight into Barnes & Noble. But I feel so lazy Yeah, I'm home alone all day And I got no more songs left to play Baby, I'm not all good in it I'll go back to you and let me be your man I got so many questions, all that money, yeah. I my do more time, Are you fine, fine? Eat on my mind, damn it. No, I don't know. 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 I I don't I I don't I know this sounds crazy, but everything's been lately. How's your dogs been doing? And your daddy and mommy, I'm not drunk or anything. I call him peace. But I feel so lazy Yeah, I'm home alone all day And I got no more songs left to play Baby, I'm not all good in it I'll go back to you and let me be your man Hello everyone. Okay, so now that I'm back, that excursion was not as successful or as fun as I thought it would be. I don't know, I guess when it comes to independent books, bookstores in general, they just hit better and hit different for me. That's not to say though, I had a bad time. It was just more like an okay, dip in here, dip in out. It's just, I don't know, it's been a while since I've been to a Barnes & Noble. I just don't really shop at Barnes & Noble anyway in general. Going in there actually reminded me of a lot of books that I missed out that were already released or have been released in like the past couple of weeks. 
I'm gonna pretend I'm talking on my phone just because there's a car with a person sitting in there next to me so he can think that I'm talking to somebody on my phone while looking at the camera. So I think that's pretty much it for now for today. I'm a little tired driving here and there because the traffic, let me tell you, in fucking Seattle, it's a bitch. This is pretty much it for this portion of the vlog. I will show you guys all the books that I have accumulated, I think, at the end of the video. But other than that, deuces. Okay. Mm -hmm. Say hello, Ella. Say hi. Say hello. Say hello, Ella. Say hi to the camera. Oh, ready my shot. Get out of here. <laughs> Oh, it's Alright, hello everyone. I am back home after my trip in Seattle, Washington. I was there visiting family and attending to personal family matters, and I honestly had a really great time. You know, visited some bookstores, hung out with the cousins and everything, but carrying all of those books home, I kid you not, was a pain in the ass. It was... it was definitely a trip, but it was definitely worth it. I actually want to point out that the books I'm about to show you guys were accumulated throughout my entire stay in Seattle. There were a couple of bookstores in the area that I was staying at that I visited, but there's this one bookstore that had arcs, like recent arcs about books that were released this year. It was an independent bookstore and it had this incentive where you could take an arc, but only if you had purchased two books. I just wanted to point out that the bookseller was not selling any of these arcs. They were complimentary for me to take after I purchased two books. I didn't really plan on buying any books on visiting those bookstores, hence why I didn't vlog or film. So again, I will briefly show you guys all of the books I've accumulated, but I will not be going over or talking what they're about because I will save all that for a book haul video sometime in the future. So with that being said, cue the book haul montage. So that's pretty much it. I will also leave the names on the list of all the bookstores that I visited down in the description box below so you guys can check it out. Thank you so much for watching guys and I will see you all soon with a new video.